decided I wanted to uh, try and turn my wood lathe into a simple CNC lathe and um, you know, I wanted to do it the cheapest way possible so I figured I'd learn how to use these little um, Arduino Unos that they uh, sell now for like 11 bucks so um, you know, this is kind of the story of how I started out with it um, and I bought two of these on Amazon one was blue and the other one was black for some reason and then I flashed the um, GRBL version 1.1 on it. And all this information is available online. And, um, you know, it seems like everybody's doing it. So it's pretty easy to find. And I just made a panel up and I uh, mounted that Arduino on it. And a uh, one of those $16 stepper controllers from Amazon on it. Just to, you know, try to get started with it. And I had a, um, a surplus medical grade power supply laying around that had 36 volts at 11 amps. So that I'm going to use to run the steppers plus some 12 volt um, control circuitry. And, you know, there's a stepper that I had laying around to try it with. So, you know, basically the Arduino plugs in and gets its power from your uh, computer. So you just plug in the USB port on it. And, um, you know, it basically starts talking to your computer. Now, for the, the CAD part of this, I decided to try AutoCAD Fusion 360. Um, it's out there and it's available for use for free for if it's not being used for, um, for home use. So, um, you know, it doesn't cost anything to try. And actually, um, after a couple hours of playing with it, I was able to create a simple artwork for a sign there. And then it also has a cam on the other end of it where once you draw an item up, you um, go in and you just, you know, set up your post processor to be the GRBL compatible one. And then just kind of pick the pockets that you want and set up your tools and, you know, everything else. I'm not going to go through all that. But, um, and, you know, you're simply able to create your G code using this uh, fusion at the same time. Um, now you can go through when you create it and there's a button there where you can actually just run through and simulate it to make sure it looks like you've, um, you know, gotten everything right and there's nothing going to go flying off a table and hit anything. So, um, actually it was really, you know, pretty easy to learn after using a sheet cam for years for my plasma table and my other router. So, um... You know, once you get that set up and you just save the, uh, save it. And then I loaded a thing called Universal G Code Sender on my laptop, which is basically the interface like Mach 3 is for, um, you know, using a uh, NT computer. And uh, here I was able to load that G Code in that I had just created for machine control. And, um, you know, basically everything is right there that you need to um, interface and you can jog your machine and set up your zero and, um, you know, you can you get everything visually. You can see what's going on here before you load the code and you can see that little yellow arrow is basically the, um, the zero zero start point the way it's set up now. And then you just go up and you hit that little uh, run arrow up there. And if you watch that box down there, you'll see the G-code starts getting streamed over to the Arduino. And um, you get an OK back for every line that's run. And, you know, basically it just goes through the uh, program. And it's right now it's um, the, uh, you know, the machine is under computer control, basically. If you uh, we will go look at the steppers in a second. But, um... You know, so basically, uh, in the past, the two machines I made used uh, Mach 3 and parallel port interfaces and NT computers. And, um, you know, just buying that stuff alone was several hundred dollars before you even got started. So right now, I've got about $27 invested, and I've got one axis, you know, basically moving. So, um, you know, I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, I think it's going to, um, you know, work for a simple lathe. Um, it's not doesn't have quite the controls that Mach has, but um, I think it's going to be, you know, more than enough for what I'm trying to do here. So, yeah, I mean, you can basically see it's, uh, you know, it's running the code now. And, um, you know, everything for getting to this point is available online. It's, um, you know, the pinouts for the Arduino and everything else are all available. And, um, I mean, they're all, you know, available for public use. So, um you know, it's, it's real easy to find information on it to set it up this far. 
So, you know, basically, um, I got the first axis moving, so now I'm probably going to order another, um, another, uh, stepper driver, another one of those four amp drivers here from uh, Amazon, so I can get the second one set up, and then, you know, hopefully find a box to mount this in, and, um, maybe someday I'll be able to get it to talk wirelessly to my tablet, so I don't even need a computer to load it. You know, I'm happy so far. I spent about a week now just trying to, you know, how to learn learn how to use everything and learn the AutoCAD and, um, you know, get everything downloaded and flashed and whatnot. And, um, you know, I think it's going to work in the long run. So I just, you know, thought I'd share this with you just to show how simple it is anymore and how cheap you can actually um, create a CNC machine with the um, new technology that's available out there. Plus, I wanted to get an idea of um, using these uh, Arduinos for other projects that I have coming up. Um, you know, possibly automating the uh, blast gates in my dust collector and, um, you know, automating my um, the gates that are used to control the temperature in my root cellar. So, you know, I have a lot of other little projects I want to play with, too. But, um, you know, this was pretty simple to get to this point. And... Um, you know, it takes a while to set up the uh, the steps per inch and the acceleration curves and everything else. You just have to go through the um, the GRBL and um, you know set it all up in there using the dollar signs. But all that information is available online, and um, it's real really pretty easy to do. So I just thought I'd share this with you to you know to show the start of uh, my next project. And this is probably going to go on for several months now. And till I get all the other parts together but um you know so this is just to start of building a simple G CNC controller for a couple of dollars that you know looks like it'll control small steppers up to 4 amps no problem thanks for watching please subscribe